don't exactly know what's getting ready to come out of my mouth. There's information that is in my body, that is in our atmosphere, that I'm feeling, that I'm hearing, and I'm receiving messages from. Just a moment ago, some thought came to my mind that right now we have to stop and have Sot Song and we have to record it. That he could ask me any question, any question in the entire universe and I could answer it. I leaned over and I put my arm on him and I started talking to him. And what came through my mouth didn't come through my mind. God, God spoke through me. To this moment, I have no idea what words came through my mouth. Like Yogananda, whenever he was on the boat sailing to North America. He, to, the, to, the, to the end of his physical life, he had no idea what he had said the night before. And that's what began the conversation of how, how do you overcome a fear? But his fear not, had nothing to do with traveling. It was attachment, the being afraid to let go. We all have that, it's called ego. And that's, you know, the entire conversation that we had last night, we told you about, you know, the events of last night. And in becoming so mad, becoming so mad at being angry and confused and not understanding what the hell your best friend is telling you, after you ask them 50 times and they give you seemingly two opposite answers. The two opposite answers are the same. And I'm fully realizing that. You can't understand it with your mind. It's a question that your mind will go over and over and over and over and over. And your mind will never understand it. And when you're so mad and you're so angry, you realize it was never different in the first place. Without life, there cannot be death. And without death, there cannot be life. You have to let go of one to receive the other. Feel the energy of the entire universe. But there is no I. I remember in a time that I would call before, before this moment. There is no time. There is no before, there is no after. <sighs> I cannot 
even tell a story because I cannot understand what I is. It is such a concept. The biggest lie we ever believe in this life is that there is an I, is that there is a self, and that there is anything that was ever separate from God. <laughs> Do you understand? It does not amaze me that the joy doesn't oh, just make a person explode. <laughs> You've always been this. You have never not been this. I was taking a shower. I don't know if I was going in or coming out. The I realized that there's no separation in anything. So even if you think you don't have bliss, or you think you don't have joy, when you think you are angry, or you think you are afraid, at the same time as being afraid for your life, you are completely blissful. The two are not separate. cannot be separate. You've always been this. Laura, you have always been this. have always been this. <laughs> what is the Bible verse about joy and sadness in mourning? Blessed is he who mourns. will inherit the kingdom of God. Because they are the same. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. wonder if it's evil or if it's beautiful. <laughs>
because it is, and it is not. It's a reason, Cohen, that the mind, well, the mind cannot understand. This was his end student cannot bring a verbal answer to his master. <laughs> the world must know this. It always knew. of the universe are not secrets. They are within all of us. Who are the secrets of the universe? Keep ourselves a secret from ourselves. This is why the wise man does not speak. It's because the truth is formless, is shapeless, not even in the form of a word. cannot understand. I know nothing. And knowing nothing all knowing. Nothing. Nothing is everything. It's happiness.